Nikki helped her son, Michael, to develop his essential lifestyle plan, which is another type of person-centered plan. In this clip, Nikki and Michael talk about his plan and his life. I don't want, I don't want to be put down again. Besides, but what would you like to do? Try and find a very steady girlfriend. <laughs> let's not go on. I know you want a girlfriend, but let's not, not go down that route. What else? You don't want to go to college. What would you rather do than go I, to college? I'd like to work a lot. You'd like to work. You'd like a, and what sort of work? Proper work that you get paid for. Yeah, because yeah, unlike Dad. A real job. Unlike <laughs> Dad, he's self-employed. <laughs> That's a real job, though. <laughs> yeah, but the job I'm getting is more different. It's employed. Yeah. I am I'm going to be an employee, when yeah. an admin assistant. Okay. That's what I want to do. Michael really, really wanted to be a film archivist and has wanted to be that for many, many years. How many years? But, oh gosh, an awful lot, at least five or six. Five, I've, but five when, or six years. But when we discovered there were like two or three posts in the country, both of which were, were, <sighs> were kind of graduate entry, we decided maybe it would be a good idea to, to focus on the admin stuff. I would have... Michael's had loads of experience and you have had glowing reports, haven't you, yeah. from, um, from Unilever and from the Toy and Leisure Library. Um, and he's, he's got lots of strengths there, so um, that's something that we think we'll major in, yeah? Uh, let me tell you guys this straight. I've been wanting to be a film archivist since I was 13 or 14, mm. and I started swimming ever since I was five. It would be a really valuable tool to kind of manage Michael's transition. This has just been the biggest blast of the whole thing to me, um, is that I would actually get to work with people who, who felt like me that, you know, our kids are actually positive assets and, you know, they can do great things. I mean, one of the, one of the things that really switched me on to it, and I didn't know this when I agreed to get involved with it, but on the first lesson, because you had a kind of, you know, fact-finding lesson, is this right for a fact-finding session, is this right for you? Um, and, and after five minutes, I was like, just come on, let's get on with it. I want to do this. Yes, of course this is right for me. Because one of the most amazing things was, and it's still something that just makes me so buzzy about person-centered planning, which is essential lifestyle planning is one of the tools used in person-centered planning, um, is this fact that you are looking at the whole person and you are celebrating the person and you're moving away. It's like you were saying before, kind of moving away from all the old models, moving away from the medical deficit model. I mean, you know, the medical deficit model will tell you Michael is 19, autistic, um, very trusting and therefore vulnerable. You know, the person-centered model will tell you um, He's a demon researcher, you know, he knows everything there is to know about, about classical music and movies. Um, that he's the kindest, gentlest person I've known. Um, you know, really interesting things about him rather than what he can't do. And I mean, I'm not alone as a parent in, in having gotten to the stage where you're really, really sick of filling in forms or responding to people in the most negative way because that's the only way that you can access services or you can um, or you can you know you can get provision is by denying that they have any abilities or that there is anything positive about them that it is all negative negative ne negative and and you know nobody is like that everybody has positive qualities I hope it will mean that Michael will be living somewhere close to me in his own house with four or five other guys. Um, that he will be working meaningful paid work. Um, that he will have a social life um, and that we will see each other regularly. But by then, um, Michael would be very comfortable with the fact that this will be mum's house and his house will be his home. Um, as I say, we'll see each other lots, but just that dynamic of where home is will be different. These are all the people who are important to me. If you have your own money, a direct payment or personal budget, then you could write a support plan that says 
how you will spend your money to get the support you want.